problems abroad and protecting the most vulnerable at home. Ami Hober is the change we need. Maryland USA is responsible for the content of this advertising. You know, there's a reason why Coons Tyson's Toyota is the number one selling Toyota dealer in the entire Central Atlantic region. And it doesn't take a rocket scientist to figure it out. Coons Tyson's Toyota. When you're talking Toyota, you're talking Coons. By sea, air, and land, the United States Navy SEAL team is the primary special operations force for the Navy. It's an elite group, and the first African-American Navy SEAL is being recognized through artifacts he donated to the National Museum of African-American History and Culture. WUSA 9's Delia Gonsalves brings us his story. 80-year-old Bill Goines learned how to swim in a creek. There were no pools for coloreds when he grew up just outside of Cincinnati in the 1940s, except for one. And they allowed coloreds to go in there from 8 o'clock to 12 o'clock. When the whistle blew, we had to get out of the pool, and they would drain the pool and uh, uh, get it ready for the white kids coming. At 18, Goins joined the Navy and became the first African-American Navy SEAL, but the discrimination did not end there. The first day I checked in to go through the training, uh, I remember standing in front of a door where all the instructors were inside, and I heard somebody say, well, we got one in in here now, but we don't need any more ends. I don't use the word myself. It was his fortitude that kept him going. I wanted it so bad. I, there was nothing that anybody could have done to me outside of killing me to make me quit the training. He endured what he described as the toughest training in the military. You can't make it in SEAL team, go to the Marine Corps. Yeah. <laughs> that was fighting but, words right there. <laughs> <laughs> and now this trailblazer can smile, point. knowing future generations will know his story being told on a national scale. That, that'll be awesome for me. That'll be awesome. Delia Gonsalves, W, USA 9. Bill Goines retired after 32 years in the Navy, and now he works to recruit other African Americans. Those, what a story. Those stories of perseverance are just so inspiring. So many of those, and I know that you've seen them on display. That is the um, African American story, perseverance. That's right. For the most part, weather will cooperate. I have added a few clouds, so don't freak out tomorrow if a few okay. clouds roll through. It's going to be okay. As long as you tell me it won't be 95 degrees, we'll be 95. we can no. make it. No, good hair day. Don't need your umbrella. If you are out there late tomorrow night, though, it will be kind of chilly. I guess sweater's a good idea. Hey, three-degree guarantee in my infinite wisdom. I wasn't bold enough to go 90. I went 89. Well, Howard went 90. Well, it was 90. Look at that. 38 of 39 days were correct. We're going to go 79 tomorrow with some clouds rolling through and winds turning northeast, holding in the 70s, which, by the way, is average this time of year. 75 right now, live look outside or Michael and Son Weather Cam. A dew point's approaching 70, so it's not very comfortable right now, but the dew points will fall tomorrow as the front drops south and ushers in some drier air. So, nice weekend. Warm tomorrow, mild on Sunday. A sweater's a good idea each night. We're talking 50s each night. Perfect for the opening of the museum. And some clouds, again, the only caveat here, some clouds 11 a.m. to 2 p.m., but still, still very nice. All right, future cast, 7 o'clock in the morning, 70 downtown, but most everybody else in the 60s and really comfortable. I mean, even 66 in La Plata, uh, 63 in Gaithersburg, and 64 in Bowie. And then by 10 o'clock, again, some clouds rolling through, no big deal. 73 now downtown, 72 in Dumfries and Dale City. By 2 o'clock, a few clouds. I think this is a bit overdone, but just a few clouds with the front. And temperatures now 77 in Manassas and all, all the way up to 78 in Fredericksburg. We clear out again by evening with temperatures still in the 70s. By tomorrow night, though, again, if you're out after 9, 10 o'clock, temps will fall very quickly. This is 10 o'clock tomorrow night. It's already 59 in Frederick, already 69 downtown. So, again, sweaters, good idea at night. So, day planner 70 to start, and then we're looking at 74 by 11 o'clock and 75 with a few clouds coming in uh, late morning and early afternoon, but remaining dry. Cooler on Sunday, nice. A little more sunshine, too. 75, 79 on Monday. We're putting clouds there. Maybe a shower by Monday night. We'll monitor Monday afternoon for a possible yellow weather alert in case the showers get here in time for the uh, commute. And then a better chance for showers on Tuesday, and we need them. I'll tell you what, 76 for a high. We're right now the fifth driest September on record. Back to 80 on Thursday, back to 83 with sunshine on Friday. Nats return in town uh, next week. In fact, all of next week. Hey, a reminder, we're having this Tackle Your Tailgate forecast sponsored by Xfinity. So we want you to say.